Hi, Brockton residents. It's Friday, the 6th of August. Uh, it's Mayor Sullivan here at City Hall. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good week. Uh, hopefully this rain has dissipated. Uh, I want to give you an update on some really great things that have happened this week. Uh, first, let me just give you some more updates relative to COVID. And I know some people are, uh, are disappointed about the mask mandate. And I don't take it lightly. Believe me, I don't. But um, city buildings, um, school buildings, if you're inside the building, visitor or an employee, you have to wear a mask right now out of abundance of caution. Our numbers are up. I, I think I said this last week. On July 12th, we only had 12 active cases. Today, we have 190 active cases. So again, uh, we're not losing life, thankfully, but we have lost 436 residents. So the Delta virus, the variant, the breakthrough, all that is real. All those cases are real. So uh, again, there is a mask mandate in city buildings, just to, to be clear on that. Um, just want to let you know, again, that we're still doing our clinics, right? We're doing our clinics every Thursday at the Cape Verde Association, uh, every Thursday at the Shaw Center, which is Neighborhood Health Center, uh, every Saturday at the Shaw Center, which is our Board of Health. We're doing our pop-up clinics around the city of Brockton at, at supermarkets. And, you know, we've really been diligent on that with our partners from uh, DPH, the state. Um, we had a wonderful clinic. I want to thank anybody and everybody that attended at Brockton High School in the Red Building in Red IRC on Monday and Tuesday. The goal was to try to get more uh, qualified age students to get shots. And we had 120 people get their first shot on Monday, 130 people get their shot on Tuesday. So 250 people got their first shot. It was Pfizer. 21 days later, they'll get their second shot. And then when school opens September 2nd, uh, those boys and girls will be fully vaccinated. So thank you very much. Kudos to each and every one of you. Um, if you have um, some questions or you need information, of course, we can provide it. Board of Health, um, you can go on the, the website, um, brockton.ma.us as well. So another thing we did yesterday, Mike Thomas, superintendent of schools, and myself went to South Middle School. Soraya DeBarros, who heads up our community schools, was paramount on this as well. But Dr. Jang and the Consul General of Korea, uh, Consul General Yu, um, were there to applaud and recognize five weeks of dedicated students on a, on a course called Step Up Program. Uh, I was honored to be there. It was the closing ceremony yesterday, the Leadership Summer Program. Again, it's at South Middle School. Um, which is EDR, which is the Education Divide Reform, which partnered up with Step Up. Again, what it does is it's helping try to um, bring the educational gap closer together, right? So it's, it's support in math and science and reading at a time uh, when we've really been hampered and our gap has increased because of COVID-19. Uh, COVID so I want to just thank everybody that was involved in that. It was, it was awesome. Uh, it was really great to see all the boys and girls. They, they did performances, they read poetry, they did Taekwondo on the stage as well. So again, I want to thank Superintendent Mike Thomas and his team. I want to thank um, the, the Korean businesses, the Consul General for helping on that as well, and each and every one of the boys and girls that proudly graduated yesterday from that program. It was awesome, really champions in the city of champions. So just to remind you again, the Mayor's uh, concert series, it got rained out this week, but it's every Wednesday outside of City Hall, 5.30 to 7.30, a variety of different musical talents each Wednesday. So again, Please consider uh, coming there 5.30 to 7.30. If you want to bring your own chair, your own chaise lounge, by all means. We also have some seats out there as well and some water. So, again, Wednesdays, 5.30 to 7.30 outside at City Hall. Uh, farmer's Market's every Friday outside at City Hall, right? It's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I go out every week. Great produce, right? It's just a, a really variety of opportunities to buy some stuff. You know, I bought some some um, some perennials last, last week, flocks and blueberries and strawberries and squash and zucchini and honey. So there's a lot of stuff out there you can purchase. So again, um, if you're interested in that, we're there every Friday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Also city pools. The city pools, I want to thank Tom, um, Tim Coppiner, uh, who is the director um, of the Parks Department. I want to thank our friends at the Brockton YMCA, Vinny Matarano, Vivian Renee. They are helping staff the, the lifeguards over at the Cosgrove Pool, right on the east side. And then the Manning Pool is staffed um, in conjunction with the community schools. So again, if you're looking to jump in a pool, take a nice dip, again, the Manning Pool at Brockton High, the Cosgrove Pool on the east side uh, are, are open. Now, because we're in August, they will be winding down like they wind down every summer. 
So take an opportunity if you want to take a dip. Um, again, it's an honor and privilege. I want to thank everybody that's writing to me, um, you know, in terms of May or Mondays. Those are great questions coming in every week, and the weekly wrap-up is, is great as well. So stay tuned. I, I hope you've been able to check out our Brockton, the cable show that I do. Most recent one was Chief, the new chief of the fire department, Brian Nardelli. It's been really uh, a, a wonderful opportunity to work with Chief Nardelli. He's 25 years on uh, the fire department here in the city of Brockton, and uh, he's a Brocktonian. So again, if you see the chief, uh, wish him well in his new endeavors, and uh, be well to you. Enjoy this great weekend. The weather's supposed to be nice, and I'll be back again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.